This is The Daily Share, your guide to what you're watching, searching, playing, sharing, shopping, and creating. From Real Housewives to Keeping It Real with Dr. Phil, Kim Richards, the notoriously loopy Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member, she comes clean to Dr. Phil on his talk show about her drinking and addiction. This is just days after being arrested at the Beverly Hills Hotel after a slew of charges stemming from her allegedly being drunk. Kim confessed to Dr. Phil that she lied to her Real Housewives co-stars and to the world about her sobriety. Take a look. I would have loved to said to the girls, Rihanna, you know what, you're right, but the way they're coming at me, they didn't make it very easy for me to tell them, like, you're right, you know, I screwed up. You just looked them in the eye and lied about it. I had been sober for over three years, so it really wasn't a lie. So it was a lie and it wasn't. Okay. Then, after a long talk, a uh, long tense talk at that, it seemed like the good doctor was going to make, you know, a breakthrough. And then this happened. Won't you trust me right now? Okay. I trust you. I've arranged a program for you that is right here. Local. It's just right down the road here. It's right on the beach. It's a dual diagnosis treatment program specifically designed I for. I have women. a lot of anxiety right now. Okay, just relax. I know, I don't. I have hey, a well, lot just, of anxiety. Hey, I'm sit sorry, down. I can't. Sorry. All right, with me now is one of the millions who were glued to this interview, Anna, Anna David. Anna, you're a recovering addict and the editor in chief of rehabreviews.com. Anna Kim, Kim, she showed some classic signs of addiction to Dr. Phil. She was manipulating the conversation, the tears, you know, avoiding the real issue, the help that she needs. You know, did this interview with Dr. Phil really help Kim Richards, in your opinion? I don't think it helped her at all. I think. The main characteristic of active alcoholics and addicts, and this was true for me when I was active, is dishonesty. And she repeatedly would say things that she would then contradict. Oh, I've been sober for three years. Oh, but I drank a few times. Sobriety means, sobriety for three years means you're not drinking or taking any drugs. And I don't know if this was a, I guess this was sort of a PR ploy to save the situation, but mm. I think it backfired. Now, even though, you know, Kim, at the, at the very end of it, she refused Dr. Phil's offers for rehab, but she reportedly checked herself in anyway. Do you think that this is what she needs right now and maybe a reality TV break for just a few? Yeah, it's interesting because you'll talk to people who are on intervention and they'll say having had to get sober on television actually helps them because they feel more accountable because people will ask them that they, you know, people they don't know will ask them about being in recovery and being sober. But it's like it's had the opposite effect on her and being in that toxic Real Housewives environment where they're always going out and they're always at each other's throats. That is probably the worst thing you could do if you're trying to start a new life, a new healthy life. So yeah, I mean, she mentioned in the interview that she might be willing to take a break mm -hmm. from the show if it came to that. I think it's come to that a long time ago. You know, and I, I just want to make note that she actually has tried rehab before. This is, she's tried it three times before this one and her latest stint being in 2012. Uh, that was her recent stint, but you know, Let's, let's be honest, this, this edition, The Housewives, it's one of the most popular franchises on TV. I mean, do you think that Kim's public meltdown is a good thing for TV? Or maybe it could inspire fans who are struggling with the same addiction, just like Kim, to get help. Maybe it was like, you know, that aha moment for people that were watching. I don't know. I don't think it helps people to see somebody struggling so publicly and people will go, oh, she's been to rehab three times. Rehab doesn't work. Well, rehab it, it worked for me the first time. I mean, so, so far it's been 14 and a half years since. It works for a lot of people. It works for people who are willing and, you know, not excited, but willing to embrace sobriety. Relapse is a part 
of the disease of alcoholism and addiction, but I do believe you have to want it. And she doesn't seem like somebody who wants it at all. And, you know, it sort of went, the interview went from Oprah to intervention, and it sort of was complete with the person being intervened on walking out. But I don't, she just doesn't realize how lucky she has it, how many people would die for, you know, Malibu treatment for free <clears throat> and all of these things. Totally. I totally understand. Anna, I want to thank you so much for joining us. I really, really do appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Now, I want to bring in Melissa Knowles. Melissa